What is going on beautiful people? It is Tim Sheaf here, aka Human Timothy, and today I want to talk about a, a subject that is very important if you are in fact a human, and that is water. It's important of course because we are made up of 60 to 70 percent water. As most people know, it's common knowledge. Mine in fact is 67.7 percent in a recent test that I did. Of course that fluctuates day to day, but that equates to about 50 kilograms of my body weight is in fact water, which equates to about 50 liters of my body is made up of water. No wonder I flow like this. Now that water within us is constantly being sweated out, breathed out, perspirated, evaporated into the air, and we know we need to keep that topped up on a daily basis. Of course, the food we eat is a great source of water. The more raw, the better, the more hydrating it is. Fruits and vegetables, if possible, when we cook the food, we dehydrate it, take the water out, and then we have to drink more water to keep the balance. And of course, when we breathe as well, if you're in a healthy environment, lots of fresh trees, you'll be breathing good moisture from the air. On a daily basis though, I imagine the main source most of us get our water from is the water that we drink. And if you are watching this, I imagine you're already conscious about a lot of the choices you make in your daily lives, about what you're ingesting, what you're putting into your body. Water should be no different. As we should all be aware, not all water is created equal. If I had a glass of tap water, sea water, river water, bottled water, they could all look identical. And of course, we know that water has a great capacity to dissolve solids and they would not have the same reaction within our body at all. Now, I recently saw an article on the Guardian website stating that 83% of tap water from around the world contains traces of plastic bottles. Now, I don't know about you, but last time I checked, plastic wasn't a human food. It doesn't seem smart or intelligent for consumption. And of course, we have no idea unless these studies came out to tell us or do the test yourself. Of course, a lot of us are already aware of the fluoride in tap water and chlorine, whether they're good or not. I've not done the scientific studies myself. My intuition, my own experience tells me to avoid them and I have been doing for the last four years. Now, of course, the other types of water you might be consuming as a human is rainwater before pollution or if you're in an unpolluted environment you could collect rainwater and drink that i think times have changed and it's a bit more dangerous to drink that now another type if you live close to a spring and you've got nice fresh spring water i think that is the optimum type of water you could be drinking go you and the final choice of water i think a lot of us especially in the conscious community go for is bottled water over tap water now of course I, it might be a better option but it's been sat in a plastic bottle for how long it's been been transported um, of course, we know plastic is harming the planet. So there is another option, and this is the option I've come to introduce to you today if you've not heard about it before. Now, before we get into that, let's talk about the qualities that make up good water. I did some tests with my good friend, JME. Serious. Now, I'll link the videos down below. Water, yeah. water, yeah, down. water. Essentially, we found out what most people look into when they look into water is the pH and how acid or alkaline is. We determined that I don't think this is the most, most important factor when it comes to which water you drink and that in actual fact, the TDS is the most important factor. TDS stands for total dissolved solids. So it's how many dissolved solids are in the water. And this is measured in parts per million. So for every million parts H2O, how many parts non-H2O is in that? And with these tests, we found that London tap water and where I'm from here in Derby came up about 300 parts per million dissolved solids. And when we tested spring water from uh, Snowden, I think it came up about 20 parts per million. I think you can see there's a, there's a big difference between natural, what natural water should contain and what the tap water that we're drinking contains. Now this of course doesn't tell you what dissolved solids are in it, it just tells you the amount of dissolved solids. The final factor we tested was the AWP or the oxidization reduction potential, which is how antioxidizing the water that you're drinking is. But we determined the most important factor to be the total dissolved solids, how many dissolved solids are in your water, the lower the better, the closer to spring water the better. The important thing here guys is that we get you thinking for yourself. Toxins can slip in the back door with water because it looks so like beautiful clear liquid and we drink it. You can buy devices like these for £10 on Amazon and have fun with it. Do your own science research, look into it yourself. I'm the customs to my own portals man, what I put in I'm in charge of and these help me make better decisions. You might be just that little bit more motivated now to make a more conscious choice when it comes to water. So what can we do? One of the first thing and main questions people tend to ask me is what about filtered water? You can get Brita filters or filters on the refrigerators. When I'm in LA with my friends there, I notice the conscious, a lot of conscious vegans, they just use the filter from the tap and think that's fine. 
Now, I did use my testing devices and it took the tap water down from like a 300 parts per million to like a 270 or 280. So it barely was taking anything out. And of course, I, that's not removing the fluoride or the chlorine, the important tox, most toxic chemicals, I think, to remove from the tap water is not removing that stuff, guys. So a, a filter is just not quite enough. Now, there are, of course, other devices, reverse osmosis machines, Berkeley filters, and the one that I found that it is the number one for getting most people uh, a foot in the door when it comes to being conscious about water is a distiller. You can get them for 60 pounds on Amazon. I bought them last Christmas for my friends and relatives of which most of them are finding amazing results. My sister lost four stones. The distiller is essentially a device like a kettle that boils water and evaporates it. And instead of letting the steam go, it's the steam that is the pure H2O that is what you want. It condenses the steam back into water, drops it into a nice glass jug, and you get fresh water. Just like the water cycle. And what's left in the machine, at the end of a run, it's gunk, it absolutely stinks. When you take the lid off, you go, that, that's what was in my water all along. And we don't realize these things because it creeps in over time. I'm not saying a distiller is the most optimum human device. Everyone should get one, go buy a distiller. This is not an advert from me. I'm not making money from this. As I say, it's a foot in the door into being conscious about water. And I think it is a great step in the right direction. Yes, there's no minerals in distilled water but I get my minerals from my food anyway, from my fruits and my vegetables, I get plenty of minerals. If you are concerned about that, then put some spirulina or there are other ways you can do. I just think it's far more conscious to take a step this way and get clear water, which when you distill water, it comes up zero parts per million on a, dissolve, a total dissolved solids reader. There's zero parts per million. It is nothing but pure H2O. In terms of acidic alkaline, it is a tiny bit acidic. It came up like 6.5 of which seven is a neutral. These aren't concerns. The biggest concern is to what's hidden in the plastic bottles that we're drinking, what's hidden in the tap water. And of course, when you do get a distiller and you distill your water into a glass jug, right here, I pour that water into my own glass. It's a litre jar, thick glass. I take this everywhere with me to the gym. It's by my bed. When I go in the car, I take it with me. I don't have to recycle. If you're buying plastic bottles, of course, that's recycling, recycling. You use tap water from your tap to fill up the distiller, run a process, I get water out, I got a glass jar. It's far better ethically, it's far better for the environment, and it's far better for your health. I promise you that. You will notice if you've ever tried distilled water, of course, that it tastes different to tap water. It's far more quenching. It's something that I naturally can go back and drink more and more of. My body wants more of it. Rather than tap water, I could never drink more than half a glass at a time, and I wouldn't really enjoy it. This stuff feels far more natural, as it is a lot closer to spring water and what we'd naturally be drinking. There is, of course, a lot of misinformation upon the subject of distillation in the health community, stemming from an article from Dr. McCola, who said that it strips minerals from the body. Now, I'll cover this in a different video, but essentially, that's a half-truth, and it does strip minerals from the body, but it strips the inorganic minerals that shouldn't be in the body in the first place. Everything that is organic that should be in your body, distilled water does not touch. There are many great benefits to drinking distilled water. A lot of people do it when they're doing water fasting or want to do a cleanse or a detox. As I say, it helped my sister lose some weight. I actually lost some weight. If you do any research into distilled water of people that have tried it and their experiences, you'll see the amazing health benefits, things that it's healed, cleared people up of as it removes all the toxins and uh, metals and rocks that shouldn't be in our body, clogging up all our arteries and organs. Distilled water helps dissolve that. One of the theories regarding a lot of joint issues, such as arthritis in the human body, is that it comes from the calcification of the joints and mineral deposits from the inorganic foods and water that we're consuming that get clogged and block up our joints. This is something that I've personally experienced firsthand when I got heavy into the distilled water and was drinking about four liters a day for about two to three weeks. It felt like a shedding of the skin around all my joints and they became a lot freer. In particular, my spine became a lot looser and that was something I, I experienced firsthand. It's no wonder I flow like this. The power of distilled water. As distilled water has got zero dissolved solids in it, it has the capacity to dissolve solids and it dissolves solids that are, as I said, inorganic, that shouldn't be in the body in the first place. The first few weeks on distilled water, you might have a, a healing crisis of uh, cleansing. As I say, I'm not here to tell you what to do or what to think, I'm just here to offer an alternative perspective, something that I've tried that has worked for me. Uh, I just want people to be thinking for themselves, doing their own research. Water, man, it makes up so much of our body and yet so much of us in the conscious community aren't even considerate about which water we are consuming. I think it's important, it's the next step, it's the age of Aquarius, uh, it, it has some powerful healing benefits. We know water is life, 
it is one of those important elements. Plastic, it doesn't feel right, man. Tap water, it's been recycled over and over. There's all sorts of chemicals. They say that the chemicals in tap water are to stop us getting diarrhea now, but it, be, it gives us cancer in 30 years. There's another option though, of course. Get the right filter, get a distiller, clear your water up, start from scratch, start at zero parts per million, and build from there. Understand it from, that, from the ground up. You're in this, you're in the game. And I'm just here to offer an alternative perspective and help guide you along the way if you want it. I give you my opinion. That's what I'm here for, that's all I can do. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. So this is my distiller, and that's after one run yesterday. You see the gunk? It's R2D2 looking thing. That's come from tap water, and this is the pure water that comes out. Protect the oceans, man. Protect the oceans. There you go, Flipper. Echo.